This the life, this is the life, this ain't the life, this ain't the life, baby. Let's go get into a love and hip hop Hollywood season finale. It's the final countdown. Let's go get into it. My, Monique says she wants to buy rich, rich, rich pennies, okay? No Scrooge McDuck. Rich pennies a ring. And I'm just like, Monique, how you gonna buy Richie Rich pennies a ring and you can't even pay your damn child support? So, Monique, you ain't rich dollars. When Rich, you know, y'all talking about some y'all wanna get married. I know that shit was a scam. Just the other episode, Richie Rich was just, Richie Rich pennies was just said he was not interested in that type of stuff yet. And now he all say he wants to get married. Child, I knew it was some shit bubbling and boiling over for that. Um,. Miles ends up coming coming out to his friends, the Thug Bay crew, and they just like, bro, we knew, we kind of knew something, da, 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 and they was just like, you know, we cool, bro, we just, we just want to go on a double date with you. I'm just like, where did Mona Scott buy these friends at? Where did Mona Scott buy these friends at? Because these folks don't look like they cool with Miles. They don't know him like that. And, and even if they are, I really, ex I was really like, oh, okay, this is sweet. But then they said, we ain't going on no double date. Y'all just had to fuck it up. Y'all just, we just ain't going to go on no double date. Da, 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 da. Like, girl, don't know. None of y'all asses were cute, to be honest. Ain't nobody trying to get y'all ass, honey. Y'all, Trey, y'all don't even wash y'all ass clean any damn way. Y'all only clean around the exterior of the hole. So, Trey, we don't even be really trying to get y'all like that, to be honest. If you want me to be honest with you. Uh, what else was going on? Ray J and Princess. <sighs> Princess and Ray J. She just, Ray J is just like, I want to get her back, so I'm going to buy her all this shit and da-da-da. Ray J, if you wanted Princess back, y'all been talking about getting back and da-da-da. And then Princess said not too long ago at the Summer Awards, she was just saying that her and um, Ray J are uh, engaged. It, it's like, this is season two, so y'all been together two or so, two or more years, and y'all ain't got married yet. Like, Princess, that man don't want shit with your ass. He, he don't want shit with your dumb ass, and you're too pretty for this. And you seem to be too stupid, too, so maybe y'all deserve, maybe y'all deserve each other. Dumb as hell. Plastic Pakistan puss ends up spilling the tea to Richie Penis. And telling him exactly what Moniz told Fizz. Because Fizz messed ass and turned around and told Plastic Pakistan Puss. Now Plastic Pakistan Puss finna go tell Richie Pennies. And Richie Pennies pissed off about it. And you know the shit is orchestrated and so fake. Because Richie Pennies like, I feel like you got something to tell me. And like, girl, what are y'all going to a fashion show? Richie Pennies ain't nobody checking for your ass other than this fucking show. Uh, plastic Puss, pen, Pakistan Puss. Girl, ain't nobody checking for your ass either. I'm really ready for our Love & Hip Hop Hollywood to come to an end. It was just a little too orchestrated for me. It just, the season flew by. It was just like, just, I, just it just, it was not realistic at all. Um, Love & Hip Hop New York. Let me tell y'all something. I normally never review Love & Hip Hop New York, but I'm about this close to reviewing it. This close, I want to review it. I don't know. It depends on... How much everybody say. Y'all know I'm just not loving Hip Hop New York fan. I never reviewed it. I probably have a long, long time ago. But I'm just not a fan of loving Hip Hop New York. It's never done anything for me. But we're going to see because this is other girl. I guess she thinks she's Jocelyn Hernandez. So I might give it a shot. And what is going on with loving Hip Hop and all these? What is going on with the show with Jocelyn and Stevie J and K. Michelle show? When is that she? I said that she was coming out. You know, soon, bitch, where is it coming? And speaking of where is it coming, have you been, have you pushed to JustinJ1232.com? Have you pushed to JustinJ1232.com? I need you to check it out. Tell me what you think. How you like it and all that type of stuff. Um, We're getting ready to um close out the pre-orders of the shirt. So if you ain't got your shirt and you're trying to get your size and all that type of stuff, I suggest you do it now because... Like I said, honey, for the people who pre-order, go and get something special. Sometime by this week, I should know when the day I will be mailing those out to you swiftly and professionally. I'm so excited. And I appreciate y'all so much for supporting. Thank you all so much. What else is going on? Um, um, Amarion ends up 
performing at Chuck E. Cheese in April. Just like, oh, she getting crunk. You know, she doing a robot with Chucky. You know, Chuck got on the big ass boots, the black shoes with no spats, like he in a marching band and shit. And it's cute. I'm just like, okay. No, no shit. Omarion well, performing at somebody. He was open up for somebody. They just make it seem like he was just really sitting out of the crowd. I, either he was open, yeah, he was opening for somebody. But that's cute for Mario. I'm glad he's doing something other than getting the, the extra skin cut off his penis. Um, and April just like she wants to do something. She's just here to support her husband. That shit was slick whack. Um, what else was going on? This episode season finale wasn't. It wasn't blockbuster to me. I don't know if everybody just quit and said, you know, they paid their bills off. They don't give a damn. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, Evil Ass Malone comes and meets the family with Miles. And Miles is just like, you know, come meet the family. We're going to talk. And he, my, my, Miles comes in. He ring the doorbell. And, baby, he couldn't even sit down. And him, the sister was already going in. I'm glad she was getting his. She was getting in his ass. Just And they start asking him about these pictures that he take, that he took. And mama said, you know, what are your aspirations in life? Ha, ha, ha. I want to know too, Miley. What are you, Christopher Malone? What is your, what are your aspirations in life? Now, you keep saying they playing this double-sided stuff and you can have your ass out and all that type of stuff. Miley, Chris, I'm just going to be honest with you, boo. It's just not your ass out. You getting fucked and you getting fucked on cam, okay? There's a video going around of you allegedly. You getting digged down and you so trifling in the end of the video, um... The, the the boy who was dicking you down, digging your guts, asked um, where you want him to put the nut at, and you just said you can leave it on the sheets. You didn't care. So, girl, you just disgusting to me. I mean, it's another thing to get fucked. There's nothing wrong with it, but you just don't. You seem to be like a bimbo. Like, you just don't have any cooth about yourself, and you're just not real. And to be honest, I'm sick of your storyline. I'm sick of you and mine's storyline, to be honest. And I'm just kind of ready for it to be over with. I'm rooting for y'all. I was rooting for y'all. Um, but I just think, y'all, the storyline is just in this, the way that Mylon, that you have carried on, on Twitter, Instagram, and, you know, Facebook and all that stuff, has just made me just have a strong dislike for you. And I know you probably don't give a damn, honey. That's why you let folks nut on you and, and, and you and you putting it out on the sheets. So I know you don't really give too much fucks any of that damn way because somebody fucking you on cam and you want somebody to not, you know, judge your ass. It's like, girl, you've been fucked on cam. There's nothing wrong getting fucked and having nut on you or even pooping the nut out. But it's the fact that you on cam doing it. It's just like, and you have a history. You have history. So the history is following you, you know, like that nut did out your booty hole when they hit them sheets that you said you wasn't going to wash for a couple of weeks. So that's all I got. You know, I don't know if that's you in that porn one tape. It looked like your slow ass, okay? You you sex ass chocolate turtle, okay? You you sex as hell, Mylon Christopher. I give you that, but bitch, you as dumb as the turtle shell. So I don't have time for your ass. You and your booty look soft, and you look, but girl, I, I just don't know, honey. I just don't know how I feel about somebody who say, you know, just leave a nut on the sheets. And then at the sex shop deal, well, you know, it was boring as hell in any damn way. So, moving on, sweeping professional. What else was going on? Um, what else was going on? Um, Monice, child, Monice pissed off. <laughs> she, she. Because she done fucked up with Richie Penis. She didn't talk her and Richie Penis was talking about getting married. And she talking about she going to buy him black diamonds. And Richie Penis like, bitch, you know, you ain't finna buy me shit. Because I heard about that shit. Plastic Puss told me what you did. And I ain't fucking with your ass no more. So I'm on about to have a mental breakdown. So she ready to whoop some ass, honey. She at this point, she knows she fucked up. And she's like, oh, oh what I do? Monice, you know you fucked up. You shouldn't, girl, you fucked up. You tried. And I feel like nothing was wrong with you trying. It's just like... Your baby mama is, um, he is messy as hell. He loves the mess. And my messy sea voice. He messy as hell, girl. I don't know what to tell you. What else was going on? Um, Miley Christopher, child. Back on your ass, honey. You was in the studio in the hip-hop rapping auto-tune box, girl. You was in there singing, and then that stud had a nerd tell you that you sounded good. She lied to your ass. You know, you're just talking about some the double standards again. And it's just like, girl, you're just a whole. You're just a whore. It's not about you being naked and all this type of stuff. It's just, my like Christopher, you just have a wholeish ass behavior around you. And just all this shit just not adding up. There's no do double standards. I don't think there's nothing wrong with you. But it's just, you exude hoeish behavior. And it just, it certifies that you are a hoe, in my opinion. You know, we already talked about you getting fucked on camera. It's just, you know, girl, what else does this say about you? So, um, Moniz ends up pooching up, 
at um Fizz, whatever event he had going on. And she, you know, hugs Plastic Puss and talked to him, you know, girl, what's good? I just want to let you know that you're full of shit and you did that shit. And Plastic Puss just don't know what to do. She just, uh-uh, girl, get your hand on my face like you ain't going to do all that, da, da, da. Then they get into it. Next thing, little B Brandy pops out of nowhere. She's Whitney Houston's granddaughter or grandchild or goddaughter, whatever she is this week. And she's just like, you ain't going to put your hands on my people I love. Girl, you let your man put, you the man that's supposed to love you put his hand on your marriage. And threw your fucking ring across the street, bitch, from where you sleep. And walked out on your, like, little B... You have no relevance. It's, you have nothing to say. Shut your itty bitty dumb ass down. Ho, you look like a lost ass twig talking this dumb shit. Tell me you ain't gonna let nobody put no hands on nobody. You can't even get your fucking man teeth fixed. So I know you can't get your relationship fixed. Let alone something else. Girl, focus on getting your man some dental insurance. It's almost in your open enrollment. Get his regular ass mouth fixed, okay? Get his fucking reading railroad monopoly board ass grill together, and then we'll talk about it, everything else, okay? Because bitch, your man teeth are in jail, and we don't have no getting out of jail card at all. So little B, I don't want to see shit from you until your fucking man teeth look like train don't look like a straight train track, okay? Because they look like a train wreck right goddamn now, okay? Get that shit together, because they look like your teeth are harboring fucking fruit flies. I'm sick of it. Go away from me with that. Um. So they getting into it, and Monique's like she was ready to beat the shit out of Tia, um, looking like she was ready to beat the shit out of Plastic Puss. I was waiting for Monique to whoop her ass because Plastic Puss has been running her motherfucking ass around her plastic ass, and I'm just sick of it. Loving Hip Hop Hollywood can return next season. With, they, if they don't return next season, I'll actually be pleased. Loving Hip Hop Hollywood, this was cute, but I just cut it. These hoes have had enough checks to get their shit together. They're not funny. They're not entertaining. It's boring. The storylines are dry. And it just seems too made up. Um, I just, you know what? If it was going to be a real love in Hip Hop Hollywood, I feel like we should have had some some real, real tea, some real, real shade and some shit going on. Um, with, with, you know, some real stuff. It's just, it was just boring. It was lackluster. I just, Love and Hip Hop Hollywood did nothing for me. The season finale was whack as hell. And I just watched it and I thought I was really missing something. And I was getting free information, real free chicken, what I call them, people educating you and tell you what to do and the roast and stuff. That's what I was working on. So I was like, you know what? I'm missing Love and Hip Hop. But this is something that I cannot miss networking with people, okay? So I, cause I love to network with people. And like I said, Justin J does not pooch around to any event um, or anything unless it's going to be some of me networking with people who have who have the power to take my brand and my career to the next level. Some of you all need to understand that's how it works, bitch. A picture and shit don't mean goddamn thing. These celebrities don't give a fuck about you. Um, ask James Wright because, baby, I don't think Miss Patty sent his ass with a motherfucking purse for him to put his goddamn, um, put some old damn pies in and miss some Miss, Beef pie, miss Smith pie. She didn't even send him a goddamn gift card from Walmart with $1,500. He can't even get a damn black fridge rate, child. I don't have time. Moving on swiftly professionally. That's all I got. Um, Tia Marita, like, she lost some weight. No, she lost no weight. They just had a better contour on her face. And she had a sickening ass waist trainer. That's all it was. Hazel, yeah, I guess her big no old ass and then quit. Um, Omarion and April look like they finna get her in the studio. I don't get a give a fuck about hearing none of their music. Still ain't heard Fizz music. Ray J still ain't been released. Um, Max teeth still look like a million broken ass piano keys and I'm just over this whole episode. So I can't wait to the reunion. Gonna see what that is. Hopefully it comes on next week. If it don't, whatever. Make sure you check out JustinJ1232.com. Pooch around. Do what you got to do. And make sure you make JustinJ1232 one of your weekly your daily regimen is like you go in and you just go and read. I am steady posting new articles and stuff. That's something I'm working on. So I appreciate you all. You subscribe, you know, at the end. Pooch on in swift and professionally and subscribe to my um daily what's name. The people who are subscribed to will actually get automatic updates, first dibs on videos because... Like I said, um, I can post some videos on my site that will not be visible on YouTube. You can see them, but only on my site. And that's what I'm going to be doing. Um, I'm just so interested. So much stuff I'm working on. I'm very excited. Had a wonderful time in Houston with D3 Elite. And I just want to appreciate the Jays and so much for um, 
What's the name of me? I appreciate y'all for supporting me and everything else. And I love y'all so much. Follow me on Twitter, JustinJ1232. Follow me on Instagram, JustinJ1232. And I'll talk to y'all later. Good night.